Okay, uh, we ripped this out, we put this in brand new. Uh, over here, what we did was we patched all this, and we're still patching it. And uh, we're finishing up on the job. I'm going to show you how we patch it. And then this piece over here, we ripped this all out, and we put this into it. So, uh, what we're gonna, I'm going to do is show you how we did it. All right, this whole patio sunk, it's just laying on dirt. What we're going to do is rip it out. We're going to build a wall back, put the concrete on, and put the stone back on. Six inches more gravel. Almost ready to put our final pour of the concrete. Here we are pouring the concrete. We got a 3% pitch. stones in and we mark them like this like I said before and then we just come over to the saw saw That means 100 inches, you go down 3 inches, if you can do that. You can't, you can't do that all the time. And then as you go, you can fill your joints, or you can wait a little later and do it then. This is getting dry now. Most people wish to man it's a timing thing. you got to kind of wait until it's, uh, it's, it's getting drier. That's the way cement works. And we want to make sure the joints are good and even. So we get them good and even with the crawl first. Then we get the sponge and go over the top of the joint like this. Then we start the joints look nice like that. And after we do that, we just sponge the cement away from the edge of the stone like this. And that cleans it up pretty good. You gotta keep rinsing the sponge out though. Go over the top of the joint and you sponge it away from the edge. That makes your joints real, real nice and real nice and purdy. Alright, we, we put this patio in yesterday. We had to cover with plastic because it was raining and started to rain. But you can see light, a light film from sponging it. So the next day, all we do is get a regular scrub brush. We wet it down. And we scrub it. And the reason we're doing this the next day is it comes right off. Uh, you give uh, concrete still wet, basically, the next day. That'll take all that film off. get a bad spot, you just get a steel brush and go over the bad spot and it's fine. Okay, we're just patching up, uh, we're just taking the loose ones out, just like a dentist, if it's loose, we take it out. Uh, the stone's in there pretty tight, so we get the steel brush. What we're doing is just 
patching this up. We get all the stuff out we can, like this. And uh, what we do, we wet it so it'll stick. And then we just put our cement in. Patch it up. We're patching it. We want to get the tool and push it down here a little better so she sticks. Patios are disasters because you can't really, it's not something that's going to last. It's like restoring a car. You could either just patch it up with Bondo and paint it. Or you could do is you take the car right down to the frame. Same thing. This, this is just a patch job. And that's the way you got to look at patching. And that's it. Then you wait a while. And we'll come back a little later with the sponge. And sponge it up. Uh, some of these joints ain't coming out. You can't get them out. So all you do is just rub the joint with the paintbrush. Not the paintbrush, the wire brush. So you can get it out best you can. And then you just go with the sponge, kind of wet it a little bit, see what I mean? Take the wetness out of it, and then just get a little dab of cement with your rubber glove and shove it in there with your fingers. And that, that kind of, doing two things, you're kind of painting the joint on one side, and then you just get the sponge and wipe the joint off. Okay. kind of fills in all them holes because you can't do much with it okay now we're just cleaning it up about a half hour later this is August so it's uh, drying a lot faster than the first video I did which was in uh, May in Pennsylvania but, uh, this is how you do it just clean it with the sponge and you can clean it tomorrow or if you were going to do it with acid, you got to go to my uh, video where uh, I did columns. That shows a guy cleaning with acid. Usually when I do these uh, videos, you can't tell people everything. But the you know, weather has something to do with everything. Timing and how you do it and where you do it. But uh, that's the way I do it.